Humans are not the only animals to practice adoption. In fact, 62 mammals have been observed adopting young. The authors of the research article titled Adopting Kin Enhances Inclusive Fitness in a Social Red Squirrels set out to determine whether other mammals share our selfless motives for adoption or whether there are alternate, more mutualistic motives at play. Adoption in the animal kingdom is defined as the care of another's offspring until weaning. Researchers used red squirrels as a model for the study. Being asocial, adult red squirrels rarely interact outside of mating and the occasional territorial dispute. This makes them ideal test species for the Hamilton's rule, which provides an explanation based on natural selection for adoption persistence in animal populations. It dictates for adoptions to occur are the genetic relatedness of the involved organism multiplied by B, the benefit gained by the surrogate mother, must be greater than C, the cost. Hamilton proposed that as relative shared genetic material, the surrogate mother is benefited through adoption due to an increase in inclusive fitness by keeping the kin alive, ensuring that more of her genes are passed on to the next generation. However, adoption imparts cost on the surrogate mother, such as the decreased survival rate of her own young and an increase in her energy requirement. To test this theory, researchers monitored an entire red squirrel population located in Yukon, Canada, for a period between 1989 to 2008. Female pregnancy was monitored through the locating of nests, and juveniles were removed after birth to determine number, sex, and weight of each newborn. After 25 days, juvenile squirrels were removed again, weighed, and given ear tags to distinguish individuals. Thereafter, all squirrels were monitored through live trappings and observation until death or migration from the research area. These records, in conjunction with DNA analysis, permitted the establishment of detailed maternal pedigree, allowing for relatedness between individuals to be calculated and Hamilton's rule to be analysed. Over the 19 years and 2,230 litters recorded in the study, only five cases of adoption were observed, each of only one infant. In each case, the adopted juvenile was determined to be at least related by a factor of 0.125 by using the maternal pedigree. That is the equivalent relatedness of you to your first cousin. A further two dam deaths occurred in the immediate area of lactating kin with no adoption occurring. However, these dams already had three young at weighing the gain in inclusive fitness. There were also 29 cases where the death of a dam occurred and no litter members were adopted. In each of these cases, no kin were residing nearby. In short, the data supported Hamilton's rule where adoption was observed in circumstances in which the gain in the inclusive fitness for the surrogate mother outweighed the imposed costs. Although Hamilton's rule proved true in this case, further research needs to be done to determine whether it holds true for other species. Some research with similar findings have been completed since by Yagi and Hazagawa on Hamilton's rule in bee species with a high social organisation and by Burke on the broader topic of Hamilton's rule and the causes of social evolution. The method which female red squirrels determine the relatedness is also a mystery and authors of the paper have since shifted their focus to this area.